Hi all. Uh, today we are going to see blanket purchase order in SAP and we'll see the entire scenario in SAP. So first of all, I need to check uh, my tax purchaser is assigned to country or not. Hi in India, my tax purchaser is uh, Z tax in. Okay, now I'm going to create a PO. Document type will be uh, FO, framework order. So, validity start today and end. Okay, and uh, here item category is P, account assignment is K. I'm going to enter here. Uh, Okay, meals and material group is the mandatory. Enter the plant. Okay, so here enter the overall limit. So I'm entering here 5000 and expected is 4500. And enter the uh, you know, cost center and go to invoices. Why I'm assigning a uh, tax procedure to my uh, country because of you know tax codes so i need to assign the tax code for that okay and note that for the primary quarters no good received is possible that's why it's look at this no good received will be possible for the primary quarter so save this we have to do the directly inverse for this Copy this and MIRO okay and enter the date reference and here I'm doing a GST invoice so I need to enter the business plus mandatory or else GST will not calculate it and for uh, you have to choose the uh, layout is account assignment and cost center you should choose this and enter the PO here and look at this value is blank so it should go to your account assignment and enter that amount. So my overall limit is 5,000 and uh, expected value is 4,500. If I enter the more than uh, overall value, so I just enter like this 5,100. System give, saying that, you know, value is exceeded. So if I come back here, okay, let me see what is the messages. System, system give you only warning here, okay? System give you only warning, not error. So if you want to make it as a, uh, you know, error, you can make it as a, you know, error also. So I'll, you know, I'll just post it first for this inverse. Next inverse, I'll go to, uh, you know, I'll do the uh, error message. I'll set the error message for this. So this is copy this and paste here. And just post here. Okay, we'll check this invoice. Look at this five thousand one hundred rupees. We have we have done the invoices for that PO. So can we see that PO history? Okay, look at here. Okay, invoice done for the five thousand one hundred rupees. And we can we go a limit. Okay, look at this. Our actual value is okay. Done for uh, no, uh, done the inverse for uh, this PO. And uh, I'm going to control 
okay this overall limit limit not exceed while doing the uh, mirror so how to do that so i'll go to create again the pivot same payment card And you should assign the valuation class to your material group. Okay, I tell you that where we can assign that. So here also I'm giving 5,000, same amount. Okay. And save this. Okay, in this situation, I'm doing, okay, invoice for the uh, more than uh, overall limit. So before that, I'm going to, you know, done, uh, you know, I will, uh, I'll, I will put it as a uh, error message. OLMR, so go to define attributes for the systems, so this one, okay, make a new entry, 9298, so here just to uh, make it as error, okay, and save this, now I'm going to do the MIRO. So now system is not allowing to do the invoice for the exceed amount. Okay. If I try to enter the more than that, so 5100, like that earlier. Now check. System throwing error, uh, system throwing the error. So values exceed limit, exceed as limit, okay? So this is how to control the, uh, you know, system messages also, okay? Thank you so much for watching this video, bye.